Welcome to another episode of the Love Enrichment Series on the Happily Married for Life channel. In our first episode of the Love Enrichment Series on the Happily Married for Life YouTube channel, we treated the topic, How Trust Can Be Broken. In this episode, we treat the related topic, how to rebuild the trust in your marriage or relationship when it is broken. Some have asked if trust can even be rebuilt after it has been broken. The answer is yes. There are many couples where a partner betrayed the trust. And through the steps we will be sharing with you today, have rebuilt the trust and a happy couple today. So there is hope if trust has been broken, it can be repaired, it can be rebuilt. Step one is you both need to commit to rebuilding the trust. Rebuilding trust is a challenging task. So without commitment from both the betrayer and the victim, trust cannot be rebuilt. However, as you would find in the subsequent steps, most of the work will be on the one who betrayed the trust. Step two, the betrayer should take responsibility and apologize and show remorse for his or her action. Don't blame anyone or anything for your failure. The betrayed should also offer forgiveness as a gift for the sake of the relationship or marriage. The third step is that you should talk, talk, and talk. The betrayer sh should be ready to open up truthfully about the incident, why it happened, and what can be done to ensure it does not happen again. The one who has been betrayed must be ready to listen carefully to the betrayer and ask all the questions he or she needs to find closure. So you talk, talk, and talk. Step four, the betrayer must state clearly how what happened can be prevented from happening again and commit to doing that to ensure it does not happen again. Action speaks louder than words. So it is necessary for the betrayer to start implementing these preventive measures right away. For instance, if the betrayer realizes that having close female friends on social media is what led to the unfaithfulness, it is necessary to immediately put a stop to that habit and to show that proof to the victim. Step number five. Be fully transparent than ever before. Trust can only be rebuilt when the betrayed is convinced that appropriate preventive actions are being taken. To assure your partner, you need to be fully transparent. Drop the passwords and give your partner unhindered access to all your activities in person and on your phone. Practice proactive transparency, where you let your partner know your activities even before he or she acts. If you have to go somewhere, let your partner know ahead of time. If you have a new friend, let your partner know ahead of time, so that there are no doubts. Step number six, the betrayer should be patient and should not get frustrated by the time it takes for the trust to be rebuilt. The one who has been betrayed should not keep bringing up the incident after the two have engaged and discussed things over time and all the necessary questions have been fully answered. Bringing up the issue either seriously or as a joke is not healthy for both of you. Don't joke with the issue and don't keep bringing it up. Step number seven, if the pain is strong and the rebuilding process is not going well, seek help from a counselor or a therapist. The one who betrayed trust must be willing to submit to the process of therapy. Submitting to therapy 
and mentoring is also one way that your partner can be assured that you are serious about preventing a repeat of the failure. And this is really what your partner wants from you, that you are preventing a repeat of the failure. Step number eight is to pray for each other. Rebuilding trust, as I said in the beginning, is a challenging task. And you both need the grace of God to succeed in this process. Time alone does not heal without the healer being involved. If you follow these eight steps, it is very likely that you can rebuild the trust that has been broken. And sometimes, in some cases, you even end up with even stronger trust than you had in the beginning. I hope this episode has been of help to you. Like, share, comment, and most importantly, subscribe to the channel. Put the notifications buttons on and ensure that you check out other videos on the channel. Until we meet again, be happily married for life. God bless you.